Neil, a uh, 3 0 victory against Dorking Wanderers. It, it felt at times as if it could have been a lot more than that. Uh, first half, let, let, let's focus on that first half because it was absolutely scintillating stuff, pretty much right from the word go. Yeah, I, I thought it would be that sort of game. Um, I knew Mark wasn't going to come here and park the bus and try and stop us playing. I knew he was going to try and have a pop at us because that's how his teams play. And they did. And we knew that we had to play quick and incisive. And they were brave in the way they tried to press us. And at times we knew we might be 3v3 behind the press. And that's what, how it worked out. And uh, when we managed to break the press um, and got 3v3, obviously we know how good our strikers and our, our players at the top end are. So, um, yeah, I felt it was probably from my point of view, it was a little bit too end to end at times. A little bit like a tennis match. But, um, you know, with our forwards, that's not a bad thing. Do you think maybe in the second half, it, there were times it didn't feel like you had a man advantage mm. and maybe the, the, there was a bit too much casualness with the performance. Maybe there was a sense at times that you had the game won and, and they did come back, obviously, with, with the penalty yeah. decision, didn't they? Yeah, we were sloppy at times. I'm not going to deny that. And um, they set up to try and cause us problems and break on us. Um, you know, I said to the lads, you don't need to force it now. In the first half, it was on to break the lines and go at them. We didn't need to. We needed to keep moving the ball and tire them out and wear them down and go and win the game in the later stages of the second half. Um, obviously, we got away with one. Louis has redeemed himself because he didn't need to be out there in the first place making the, the challenge. Um, and that was the scare. We got through that. And then after that, you know, like I say, it probably the only thing is in that final third, the amount of times we had 3v2 or 4v3 or a chance to pick someone out in the box and we didn't. Um, so that's the only sort of downside to it. But by and large, a very professional performance. Um, what did you think about the red card? Do you feel like that took a lot of sting out of the game? Probably because, you know, the they're less likely to be able to have a pop at us with 10 men uh, but I still thought they managed the game very well with 10 men they didn't sit back and just let us keep having attacks they came at us um, so credit to them that's the way they play and uh, it's good to watch um, but uh, if I'm honest I was dubious about whether it was a red I thought Dallow would overrun the ball and um, if it was against me I wouldn't be happy um, so I can imagine Mark probably isn't happy with it you know um, it's one of them days you know Josh Kelly scored and then had to score again there's little bits like that but by and large from my point of view a solid team performance I don't think we're at our absolute best yet um, but we're managing these first five games so far okay you said you're not your best so far, but do you think the first 45 minutes sets a standard that you want to take into the Knox game? Yeah, of course. Um, it's a totally different game. Dawkins are very gung ho in your face at you. Knots are very patient. You know, probably the highest possession in the in the league and, and are likely to be so. You know, whereas we every game so far we've had more possession than the opposition. That might not be the case on Monday, and we've got to be better in different areas of the pitch. So it's a different challenge. We haven't got long to get ready for that challenge, but you know, in the months. Of staff were already kind of set up ready to do what we need to do tomorrow to try and put in a performance on Monday. And obviously there's every chance that you've probably played against a, a team that's going to factor up there uh, towards the end of the season but when you look at the fixtures or at least when you looked at them when they mm. first came out the the Knox game is one you would have circled as being the first very big test of the season. Uh, is that something that, that you did? Did you really underline that one as look this is a chance to, to prove and our credentials and really show where we are? Uh, yes and no. Yes, because Knots are a very good team, so I always look and go, wow, Knots away, that's going to be tough. But our biggest challenge we've had is getting over last season, and that's the, the biggest challenge we've had with the boys to produce stats numbers uh, in our legs, in our mentality to get over last season. And um, that's what I say, I don't think we're perfectly there yet at our best, um, but it's, if we can pick up some results until we, we get there that will be great so that's our biggest challenge I think is us and managing us and getting through and getting our mojo back from last season um, Knots might be a test on that good luck on Monday thank you